So it's time for the first chase of the trials then. It's a two and a half mile one this time, and it's Paradise Fencer for Darren Thompson, Copycat Ball Alex Cherry, Shira June for C Beckwith, On Air for Davy Ladd, Clo Hamon Romance for Hems, Vissi for Martin Lidham, Flower of Scotland for Paul Rhodes, and Stravinskaya for Graham Clutterbuck, who's abandoned his Welsh roots and become German for these trials anyway. Well, there we go. And Copycat Ball. Everybody said were the best SO6 silks for Alex Cherry in front. Stravin Sky as they come to the first of the 16 fences, and they all skip over that one nicely with copycat ball in the lead. It's a short run of the second, and over that one they go. One or two didn't jump it all that brilliantly, but they've all got over the other side okay, and it's a short run to the first ditch. And over that one, oh, there's a fall of there, and Stravin Sky has gone, so the Country hopping Welshman. Oh, and another one's gone. Oh, Stravin Sky had already gone, and now Cloherman Romance has gone as well. So maybe these fences are going to leave me a little bit tougher to jump in SO7. And there's two out already then. And I've still got two miles to go, and an awful lot of fences to get over as well. So it's copycat ball in the lead. This is why the jumps is much more exciting than the flat for all the average player of the league because you just don't know what's going to fall over and what's going to happen and so if you're thinking about getting involved in it and you can't really make your mind up concentrate on the jumping side of things because you'll probably have a lot more fun the races are longer you'll see your horse for longer and everything falls over you might just win it's definitely the way to get into it as they come to the sixth and over that one they go and Vissi was right down on his nose that time and it's copycat ball in the lead on air second, Shira June is third, then Paradise Fencer, Flower of Scotland, and Vissi almost in a line. Those back four there, back three one of them's a loose horse on the inside. So copycat ball then, clear in front. Looks like you can put dashes and things in the race kit for SO7. Problems. The SO6 where you couldn't put dash asterisk, not asterisk, apostrophes in. But it looks like you might be able to do it now. And that's definitely a hyphen thing or whatever you want to call it. And copycat ball there, so that's worth taking a note of. And copycat ball continues to lead by about four lengths to on air in second. As they skip over the next. The Shira June in third. Paradise Fencer fourth, and they get to Flower of Scotland, and finally Vissi. Oh, and the lead has gone now. Oh, and another one's gone. Vissi's gone as well. Copycat Ball and Vissi both went there, the leader and the back marker. And suddenly, an eight strong field is down to four. It was nearly down to three then, as Shira June went right through the top of that one. And could we get an interesting situation where we don't get any finishes? Think that would be quite funny in a league race if nothing actually got round. Not sure if the game's coded for jockeys to be chasing after loose horses to get back on them and remount. Quite a lot of that remounting stuff's not allowed these days. It's certainly not allowed in a national anymore. I'm not sure about ordinary races. I think you can do it in an ordinary race as they skip over the 11th. And on air has been left a good five lengths clear and it skips over the 12th from Paradise Fencer in second. Shira June. His third flower of Scotland is fourth. That's a ditch, and over that one they go. All over that one, okay. There's four of the eight left as they come down to the next. And over that one they go as well. With on air in front, with Paradise Fencer now being driven up to challenge. And a little more than four furlongs still to go. And most of the fences are jumped now. They've just got two more to take. And I think we'll get probably most of these round now then. On air in front and clear and pulling away again now. Looks to be stronger than the rest of them. Jock has to look over his shoulder, skips over the second last. Paradise Fence has probably shot its bolt trying to throw that challenge down a couple of furlongs ago. Doesn't look like he's got anything to get near the leader as they come down towards the final fence. But it's Ascot, remember, and it's a stiff finish. And down towards the final fence they go, and on air's over it. Safely in the lead. Now we're going to get an aerial shot. Let's hope we don't get a close finish, but it looks like on air 
He's still pretty much clear, but it looks like being challenged on the outside. And now we get back close up again. And suddenly Paradise Fencer is throwing down a challenge. And Paradise Fencer has they got a line. Poor Paradise Fencer might have won it. Goodness me. Crikey, we might have got a bit of a surprise there. I think we're all complacently expecting the leader to just pull away and win it. And Paradise Fencer has thrown down a challenge and has won. He got up on the outside and beaten on air. Well, there you go. Paradise Fencer for Darren Thompson, the winner. On air for Davy Ladder. That's David Robertson, second. Shira June for C. Beckwith is third. Flora Scotland for Paul Rhodes, fourth. And the rest of them didn't get around.